Thanks for joining me at Underwater Math. Today we will be reviewing expanded notation and expanded form with decimals. Let's look at the number 5463 and 27 hundredths. In this number there are five thousands. In expanded notation, we would write this as the product five times one thousand. There are four hundreds. In expanded notation, this is written as the product four times one hundred. There are six tens. In expanded notation, we have the product 6 times 10, there are 3 ones. To write this in expanded notation, we write the product 3 times 1, you've done all that before. I'm sure it's all coming back to you now. But now, let's try something new. Take a look to the right of the decimal point, there is a 2 in the tenths place. This means we have two tenths. Do you think we can write those two tenths as a product, just like we wrote the values to the left of the decimal point? If you answered yes, you are absolutely correct. We can write two times one tenth. Let's try the hundredths place. There are seven hundredths. How do you think we would write this as a product? If you said seven times one hundredth, you would be right. Now let's put our expanded notation all together. Place parentheses around each product then write a plus sign between each product. This is expanded notation. Now let's take a look at the value of each digit. The expanded notation can help us find the value of each digit. We just need to find the products. 5 times 1000 equals 5000. 4 times 100 equals 400. 6 times 10 equals 60. 3 times 1 equals 3. 2 times 1 tenth equals 2 tenths. And 7 times 100 equals 7 hundredths. And now we have our expanded form. You have probably noticed that the value of each digit also corresponds with which place that digit is in. For example, the 5 is in the thousands place and has a value of 5000. So even if you didn't find the expanded notation first, you should still be able to find the value of any digit, just by knowing what place it's in. Speaking of places, I don't want to end up in hundredth place here, so I've got to go. Ta-ta.